Sounds good. Chris Vickers is off this week, so I wonder if the folks from the Imagination Stations are going to bust a cinder block over me today. <laughs> Hopefully not. Sarah Nephes is here from the Imagination Station. The answer to that question, I hope, is no. It is no today, <laughs> but we are going to bust some other things. Yes, we are going to bust some things. I'm excited about this. Very interesting. I, I'm sure you're going to tell me exactly what the science behind all of this is. We are. Today we're actually talking about incandescent light bulbs. Okay. Now, this is probably very similar to what a lot of people have in their home, mm -hmm. um, but what's tricky about this is it's not very energy efficient. Okay. So we're kind of transitioning away from traditional light bulbs and moving to... To the coil bulbs. Yeah, yeah exactly. And those are a halogen bulb. Okay. So before we get started today, though, with any of our experiment, we are going to put on our safety yes. stuff. So I have some goggles for you on the table and some gloves. And these are so... I'm so mad that Chris isn't here because these would look so good on Chris. <laughs> but I'm going to rock them. They're bedazzled on the side. I don't know if you can tell. There's like gems on them. So Sarah got me all hooked up today. I did. Um, I, I do want to stress that this is not an experiment to try at home. We're working with a lot yes. of dangerous components. We have electricity and liquid nitrogen and broken glass today. Okay. So definitely something only at the Science Center. Sounds not good. anything to take home. If you want to try this, you have to go to the Imagination Station. Yes. Done. So I have, like I said, a traditional incandescent light bulb. Okay. This is actually a 200 watt bulb. So I'm going to plug this in mm -hmm. and we're going to turn it on. Are you ready? Ready. You might not want to look right at it. <laughs> Just, it's pretty bright, it's Ooh, 200 watts. That is bright. So, ah. there is a lot of energy being pumped into this bulb. <laughs> I'll flip it off for you. I looked at it. <laughs> um, but actually only about five to 10% of the energy that's being pumped into the light bulb is being converted into light. About the that's other- That's only 5%? Only 5%. Wow. Okay. So about the other 90% is being emitted as heat. So actually, I'll oh, pull off your glove for you. Interesting. You okay. wanna kinda touch the top of that bulb a little? Yeah, it's still warm. Yeah, yeah. it gets hot oh, wow. very fast. Okay. And so I'll just put this back yeah, on. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. And um, that filament actually heats up to about 5,000 degrees. Oh my gosh. Yes. Wow. And okay. so all that energy is being wasted. Um, inside this bulb, there are gases like argon, um, mm -hmm. xenon, and krypton. Okay. All right. And so what we're going to do is we're actually going to break off this casing. Let me unplug this for you. Mm -hmm. All right, and we can go ahead and set that on our tray. Okay. And Let's you can me. get your paper bag and your hammer over there. Ah. Okay. All right. Do not try this at home. Do not try this at home. Okay. So we're gonna cover this, and then you are gonna hit right here. Okay. Okay. Go for it. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Try again. Oh, oh there you go. That sounded good. Let's see. Uh oh. I might have hit it too hard. Um, you might be a little stronger <laughs> than you thought, but that's okay. I brought a spare. She told me before, she was like, so, don't hit it too hard. <laughs> but if you take a close up look at the filament, mm -hmm. you can see it's actually a coil and it's a coil of a coil. So oh. that's the way that um, the tungsten is put in there. All right, Very so cool. let's move on to this one that I brought with me. So now I'll let you be in charge of this light bulb. Okay. All right, and now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna fill up our little flask here with some liquid nitrogen. Okay. And we're not using the liquid nitrogen for its cold properties today, but for the actual gas that's coming off of it. So I'm gonna okay. fill this up. And what we're doing is as I am filling it, the oxygen that's inside the flask is actually being pushed out. So our flask uh -huh. is filling up with just nitrogen gas at this point. It seems like it's filling slowly. It is because our flask is at room temperature and mm -hmm. so um, as it's cooling down, it seems to take a little while. Very cool. Now, like I said, um, there's that glass covering because mm -hmm. we don't want any oxygen to get to this filament. It traps the gases inside. Okay. It does. So do you want to see what's going to happen if that is open? I do. Okay. So we'll give that a second to settle down. And we've okay. taken off our glass covering, so let's turn this bulb on now. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Hey. So it turns ah. on, but now it's smoking <laughs> a lot. And then it instantly burns out. It's because okay. it rapidly oxidized because of the oxygen that surrounded it. And it actually burned out the filament. So now our light bulb is ruined. So it won't turn on again? It won't turn on again. Oh. It's completely burned out, which is what happens inside your light bulb when it reaches its lifespan. A much slower process. Right. Okay. All right, so now we can set this one aside. I think we're ready to move on to our liquid nitrogen. Yeah. Ooh. All right, so now this light bulb is the same. I have taken off the outer envelope. Okay. And what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm going to plug it in 
And then we're actually gonna dip this down into our liquid nitrogen. Okay. Because, like I said, that nitrogen gas has filled up our flask, so there's no more oxygen in there. So this is just like operation when you were a kid. <laughs> you have to carefully submerge it. All right. Now I'm assuming our, our flask kind of acts as that bulb to hold everything in there? Yep, you're exactly right. So now it's full of nothing but nitrogen gas. So okay. are you ready? Yeah. Is All this right. like an eclipse? Should I not look directly at <laughs> you it? You might not want to look directly at it, <laughs> but Ooh. it's the same idea. So if you can kind of look at it, but you can see that our yeah. light bulb lights up again. It's really bright because now we've got an envelope filled with nitrogen mm -hmm. gas. There's no oxygen, and so the filament is safe in there. And this one's not going to burn out. This one's not going to burn out. Very cool, Sarah. So if you want to, you can actually grab our um, rod up here, uh -huh. and you can lift that up slowly to about here. Oh, geez. And so the, um, the filament is now outside of the liquid, and uh -huh. it's just surrounded by the gas, and it's still burning. So now if you pull it out in kind of one swift motion, <sighs> as soon as it's introduced to the <laughs> oxygen in the air, the same thing is going to happen. It's going to burn out because it's not protected anymore. Very cool, Sarah. Thank you so much. You are Everything very welcome. Everything that they bring in from the Imagination Station, so cool. And you can head on down there right now.